All right, hallelujah. Good morning, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the world. This is Pastor Dial, and I am here for another edition of the University of the Painful Truth. Well, what seems to be going on in the hour that we're living in? Well, I'm going to make this, uh, and I'm going to term this, um, let's say title this, Prosperity Gospel. Well, there are many people um, today who believe in this type of gospel. Uh, and it's a sad, sad thing too because, you know, today people have decided in their own minds um, that they want eternal salvation. They want their name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, but they do not want to sacrifice their life here and now for eternity. And that's going to be the downfall of many. And I realize that many people today would rather not hear the truth, especially what I've got to say. Because I'm going to tell you exactly what the scripture says. Um, because it's easier to go ahead and follow your own ways and your own heart and your own conceits. And to go listen to those people who are going to tell you what you want to hear. Let me give you an example. The Bible says, and this is one of the most quoted scriptures that there is. Um, especially in the so-called quote-unquote prosperity movement. Or the prosperity gospel. Uh, 3 John 1 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as our soul prosper. But have you ever went and looked up that word prosper to see what it meant? Well, that word is not prosperity like you would think that it is. As a matter of fact, in the uh, Greek, that word is 2137. And that word prosper means to have a good journey, to have a prosperous journey. You know, I just came back from South Carolina um, this past weekend. My wife and I, we had a very prosperous journey. Um, we met some uh, new people uh, in, the, in the Lord, in the Most High, and, and we were very privileged and honored uh, to be in their presence, a very holy people. Uh, and we thank the Father for that. Um, but you see, what's the hang up with many people today is, is that they hear this gospel. And they know that you're telling them the truth, but they make a personal decision within them own selves. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to live that way. I'm not going to be like that. And the reason why I'm not going to do it is because it costs too much and it's not really basically, and this is the bottom line, what I want to do. I'm going to find the Jesus that suits me and I'm going to follow that. So what they do is they go look for these blind leaders and these blind teachers who the prophet Isaiah had said, um, you know, they, they, they want them to teach them the things that they want to hear their way. You know, prophesying to me lies, prophesying to me to smooth things. But the prophet Isaiah said this in Isaiah uh, 30 verse 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Most High. Did you hear that? Which say to the seers, which say to the prophets, which say to the pastors, look what they say. See not, don't don't see, leave us alone. Just just you know, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, but look what the people are saying to the prophets. Speak unto us smooth things and prophesy unto us deceits. That's why you have all these mega churches today. Because people don't want to hear the truth. They want to be lied to. And 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 there's a reason why they want to be lied to, because their own heart has deceived them. You see, somehow, some way, in come this grace gospel. In come this gospel of uh, of uh, of grace, uh, and, and you don't have to do anything or nothing like it in order to make it to the kingdom. But you know what? Jesus covered that himself when he said in Matthew 13, 13, look what he says. And this is the heart of people you're dealing with today. Because anytime people hear this gospel and are not converted, that's because they have personal issues in their heart that they really, truly do not want to give up their life because the Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things become new. And they don't want the new life in Christ Jesus. They don't want the sacrifice that it takes. Oh yeah, let everybody else do it, but that's not for me. That's for you. I understand uh, you better. That's how y'all do things, but that's not for me. No, there's only one road and there's only one way to the Father and that's by Jesus and that's it. And there is no other way. Not this other Jesus that you read about and Paul warns us about in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. There's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. And that's it. And many of you think you're on the way, but you're out of the way. 
Listen to the words of Jesus in Matthew 13, 13. Therefore speak out to them in parables because they see and see not and hear and they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Elias which says, by hearing ye shall hear and ye shall not understand and seeing ye shall see hear that and shall not perceive. But watch this. There's a reason why the people today don't want to hear. There's a reason why they don't want to understand. And there's a reason why they don't want to perceive. Now I'm telling you that even in all this they have deceived themselves that they have actually heard, perceived, and understood. But their heart is so hard and so dull of hearing and so wax gross that the lust of this world, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life means more to them than serving the real, true, sanctified, holiest way of Christ. That's just the truth. Listen to verse 15 in Matthew 13. For this people's heart is wax gross. You hear that? The people's heart is wax gross. He's going to define it. Get your Bibles. I know you believe the book. All you proclaim to be so-called Christians. You proclaim to be Israelites and believers, don't you? Open up your Bible to Matthew 13, verse 15, and follow along with me in this verse, and let's really look into the heart of man and see what's really going on with people, the reason why that they really don't want to be converted, and the reason why they really want to serve so-called this phony Jesus, they call the real Jesus, because they want to have life their way. Well, watch this. Listen to what the scripture says. Matthew 13, verse 15. For this people's heart wax grows, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes, here it is, key point, they have closed. Make no mistake about it. If people have, are able to read and comprehend, or able to hear and understand, they hear the same things you hear. Yeah, they are. They, they hear the same things you hear. They read the same things you read. But all of a sudden, bam, you understand, but they don't understand. Yeah, there's a reason why they don't understand. It's because there are some issues in their heart that they have refused to have converted. Look, it says they have closed. You hear that? What did they do? They closed their eyes. You hear this? This is on purpose. These people are dumb on purpose. They have closed their eyes. Lest at any time they should see. You hear that? They should see. Look at this. With their eyes. See, so they closed them on purpose for the intent to not see. And hear with their ears. You hear that? And should understand with their heart and should be converted and I would heal them. The bottom line is is that people do not want to be converted. They don't want to, they don't want eyes to see. They don't want ears to hear. And they don't want a heart to understand. Not this way. Because this way is a highway of holiness. That's true. The Bible says in Hebrews 14, 12, or 12, 14, follow peace with all men in holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. And if you watch people today, the last thing they want is holiness. The last thing they really want to do is give up their life. Not for the cause of Christ. Oh, I know. God manifested in the flesh himself, Jesus the Christ. He could come from glory. Though he were rich, yet he became poor. And he can turn around and be here on this earth and give up everything in glory and then die a horrific death for those who accept the way and come to him as the Father draw them. See, when you hear the word and you don't understand and yet you close up your eyes, you close up your ears and you shut up your heart because you know it takes a conversion. You know it takes something that you really don't want to do. Your flesh is stronger than the spirit. And that's the reason why many folks today, especially church folk, are going to go to a living, burning hell. Hey, you ain't getting past. Hey, I'm nothing to get past. But nobody is going to get past the most high. Nobody. So you may be deceiving others. You may even be deceiving yourself today. But the one thing you cannot escape is this word. And that is the truth. And that's the true straight way. But Christ did go on to say to those of us who have given up this life so we can be in service, in his service as ambassadors to the kingdom of heaven. He said, but blessed are your eyes for they see. My eyes are blessed and they're big too and they see. And blessed are your ears. Look at this. For they hear. You better believe it. My eyes are blessed and my ears are blessed and my heart is blessed because I love him. I love him more 
than life itself. I love him more than necessary bread. I love him. And I thank the Most High that he loves me. I thank you everything that Christ has done. And he's written my name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm not a fool. I made a calculation. There's nothing in this earth or in this world that's greater than the eternal life what the Most High has promised them. Matter of fact, Christ said, and my Paul said, eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard, neither has it ever entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for them that love him. You people don't love God. You love your way. You love your so-called lying church who will prophesy to you deceits and lies. You love your life. You love your things, your houses, your homes, your money, but you ain't gonna give up nothing for Christ. Don't worry about it. This is the university of the painful truth. And you just heard the truth straightway. And many of you are going to go to a living burning hell because you hear this truth and you reject this word because your heart, you have shut up from the real true gospel of the kingdom. So therefore, hell had to enlarge in itself. But those of you who are blessed and have been filled with the Ruach Kodesh, the Holy Spirit. We are going to be ruling in the new Jerusalem when the Most High comes down and set his feet on the Mount of Olives. We're going to be transformed in a moment in a tweak living out the last trump and it's going to be worth it all when we see Christ. Glory to the King. Just thought I'd come here and make a quick video real quick to let you know what's really truly going on inside the hearts of men. Especially your family. They don't love Jesus like you do.